<laughs> yes, my viewers and my subscriber, it is your boy Bunny again. Let me say something. If it is your first time viewing, don't forget to like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel and thank you for tuning in. Okay? Another talk. Another little talk, my viewers. Let me say when you a child, you do what a child do. When he becomes a adult, you do what a adult do. And we all was a child at one part of our life. But when we grow up, when we grow up and it becomes, we don't call it now, adult. We no more do, or we shouldn't do what child do. An adult is a adult. A child is a child and an adult is a adult. So, I want to say to you, my viewers and subscribers, when I was growing up as a child, I do a lot of wrong things. I tell lie, I steal, and it never mean anything to me. And even when I grew up to be a big young man, I still tell a lot of lie, I still steal, and I still do a lot of wrong things that I shouldn't do. Now, the reason for that is because I was living in the dark. So the things that I was doing, they never mean nothing. They only mean, I don't even know if I use the word, but they never mean nothing to me. Nothing. Because I grew up, I steal from home. I used to suck out my mother's milk. I used to steal. Let me give you, let me tell this is not a joke. This is a food. This is real. I remember one time, back in the West Indies, we have this wackle kitchen. Outdoors, not onto the house like what they have now. Everybody house now they cook indoors. This we have a kitchen outside where we walk with bamboo. And I remember my mother was cooking and she went into the house to get something. And when my mom gone into the house, I opened the pot and I take out a dumpling out of the pot. And just as I rest the cover back, I hear my mom coming. And I have a hot dumpling in my hand and a fork. Hear my mom coming. You know, if she catch you with this dumpling, she probably don't beat you, but she probably give you one lick in the head or something. But when your papa come, she gonna tell papa, and that's when you're gonna get a beating. So if we avoid that, as soon as me hear her coming, the first thing come to my mind was to shove this hot dumpling into my pocket. Now, my viewers, if you know what a hot dumpling, a hot boiled dumpling is like, and if you shove that into your pocket, and your mom come in the kitchen and start to talk to you, and you have a hot dumpling in your pocket that burn you upon your leg. If you ever do something like that before, my viewers, Type that in the comment section. Let me know. Because I'm telling you this is the truth. Having a hot dumpling in my pocket. And my mama talked to me. The only thing I could do. Is grab my trousers. And ease that dumpling off of my leg. And my mommy they talking to me. And I want to come out of this kitchen. And. When I get the chance to come out of the kitchen. By then the dumpling start to burn my hand now. Because my hand all it. And my pocket becomes hot. My trousers becomes hot. Now, I don't know if you lot remember, back in the West Indies, we have the pit tile that make down the bush. Yeah? And the only thing I could do, as soon as I get the escape from my mom, is down that pit tile. And I sit on that seat and take out that hot dumpling out of my pocket. And that's where I sit and eat that hot dumpling. Miss, listen, I don't know if any of you can give me a story like this. But this is the truth. Yeah? So, when I grew up, and I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I realized that all these things was wrong. 
they was wrong and they was wrong and I tried to bring up my own children and I tried to show them the difference between wrongs and right without me have to poof, poof, poof. because in my days my father will beat you and then ask you question after and every lick that he give you it spells something me send you for water and you play. Me tell you no good on that you do it. Me tell you no pick the man arrange and you do it. Every lick that he give you, he remind you why he lick you. And why he beat you for. Trust me. This is how we grew up in the West Indies. And if you tell me in this comment section that you grew up in the West Indies with your parents and you never get a beaten then I probably think you're a good child. If that is you, put that in the comment section now and tell me that my mom never beat me as a child grew up at home. I probably leave home at an early age and have no experience about it. I believe 90% of the West Indian parents have whipped their children. I get five children and I must say, I can't remember I ever beat one of them. Yes, I probably give them a slap, but I have never take a belt to one of my children. That no mean they're good, you know. That no mean they're good. But you find a way to speak to your child without brutalize them. Because let me tell you something. If I was to take off my clothes right now and show you my skin, my back, my bum, and my leg, there is pure beaten mark on them. My father beat me, and when he finished beat me, he takes salt water and wash the cut them from my body. If that was this country or any other foreign country, he will go to prison for it. But they get away with things like this. So I try my best to talk to my children than boof them. So that never made me a good child. When my life changed is when I accept Jesus Christ. I realize the difference between darkness and light between wrongs and right. And I'm telling you, my viewers and my subscriber, don't boof your child. Sit them down, talk to them softly, talk to them nicely, encourage them, show them the difference between wrongs and right. Tell them, I'm not gonna cover up for you. I am not gonna cover up for you. If you want to do the right thing, do the right thing. Don't go down the road. And make the police stop you. And you come back to my house and tell me to make a cover up for you. No. If you do something and the police chase you and you run home and then say, you didn't sit down there, I'm not going to tell the police, say, yes, you were indoors when you just come through the door. I'm not going to do it. Yes, you are my child. But every tub have to sit on their own bottom. I was watching something the other day, I know this is a soap, where the boyfriend have done something and asked the girlfriend to take the crime, the rap fame. Things like that happen right now, right now. Police stop you and you ask your wife to say you was driving because you can't lose your license. Because if you lose your license, you can't work. We, we need to take responsibility for our own action. Yes, I know you have your family. You have your family. And if the license take away from you, you can't work. Think about it now. Think about it now. You watching this video? Think about it now. If you're driving down the road and you're speeding and the police pull you over, and you lose your license. It's not your children's fault. It's not your wife's fault. It is your fault. So you know what? 
from no stick to the speed limit you are not a child of God so you probably tell your lie and get away with it but if you is a child of God and you do something like that and get caught you cannot blame anybody and it's not your rights to say it's not me who are you lying to yourself or God who gonna take the blame for you yourself or God let us stand up on our own two feet and take our own responsibility I am telling you I have done it before I have lied, I have steal, I have done wrong things before I accept Jesus Christ. But I reached the stage now where I have to be on the straight and narrow. If I want my blessing, I have to stand on my straight and narrow. I said I have died at least six times and Jesus has saved my life. No, the things that I never know, but I know now, if I do it now, my hell will be hotter. My judgment will be hotter. Because I never know. But now, I know. My responsibility is on me now. Because I know the difference between wrongs and right. My duty is to do right and not wrong. So if you know the difference between right and wrong and you continue to do wrong and go down on your knee and say, God, please forgive me. Please forgive me. And you keep doing the same thing. You're not going to get forgiveness for it. You're not going to get forgiveness for it. So this is how I feel in myself. So my duty, my responsibility is to take responsibility for my own action. If I done something, I hold up my hand and I said, you runner, I have done it. I am sorry. I have done it. I can't sit here and said I am lying, but at the same time I'm going and bending down before God or I'm picking up the road of God and I'm reading it and I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. No. So my sisters and my brother, if you're a child of God and your child do something at home, please don't cover up. Don't cover up. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. God want we to live right, do right for him to bless us. I am a blessing. God have done great things for me. And I just want to encourage people that God is wonderful, loving, and kind. The same way God done for me, the same thing he want to do for you, the same thing he might do for you right now. But you just need to believe that God is there watching over you 24 hours. A time we get our food and see where the plate come in front of us, we just heat and we don't remember where the food come from. But God is the one who wake you up in the morning. He give you strength to go to work. He take you home, work safe. He bring you back home safe. You know, he watch over you. You know, God is our provider. He's our way maker. He's our deliverer. And I just want each and every one to know that it's the spirit of God that keeping us. And it's only when we come out of darkness and come into light that we realize that it is the grace of God that keeping us. So to God be the glory. Great and wonderful things that God have done for me, for you, for his children in this world. God have died on the cross. He shed his blood. He buried in the tomb. He raised again. He gave me and you life. He died on the cross. His blood was shed. He was bruised. He was buried in the tomb. He was raised again. And if you believe that, just type Amen. And keep on doing the right thing. God bless you. I'm out. Peace and love.